This is another video in our Foxit Accessibility series, and you can see I'm starting this particular uh, demonstration off in Microsoft Word. Now, in this document, I have a couple of unique fonts. The first font that I have here is Algerian, and then Arabic typeset, and Arial. Now, two of them are not standard, and of course the Arial is. To be fully accessible, a PDF document has to have fonts embedded in the file. So we're going to send this unique Word document out to PDF, and we're going to walk through how to embed the fonts. So let's use our Foxit ribbon here, and we're going to create a PDF, and we're going to say OK. Now this is going to take just a second, so I'm going to pause until the file opens. So it took just a second, and here's our file in our Foxit PDF. Now let's firstly go in and see if the fonts are actually embedded. To do that, we're going to go to the File menu here, and then the Document Properties, and in the middle frame, we're going to select Fonts. Now you can see, surprisingly enough, the Arial MT is not embedded. Notice the subset of the others are. So how do we do this? It does depend upon the version of Foxit that you have. What we have in front of us is the Foxit Editor Pro. If you have just the Foxit Editor, you won't have this one feature in the pre-flight, but you can always use the Print option. So let's look at the pre-flight first. We're going to go to the Convert ribbon or tab, and at the far right side, we're going to pick Pre-flight. Now this little wrench is called the Fix-Ups. And when I go into the Fix-Up, I've searched for Font. And we can do it right here, Embed Missing Fonts. Now for this exercise, we're not going to choose those two, but it would just be a matter of selecting, and then at the bottom, Fixing. Let's do it the other way. The other way is to go File, and surprisingly enough, print. Now when we print, notice the Foxit PDF Editor is the default. If we want to embed the fonts, we're actually going to print the current PDF to a new PDF and embed the fonts during the translation. So let's go over here to Properties, and then here under Default Settings, we're looking at Standard. And there are other choices, but we're just going to edit this. And then our font option along the left-hand side. And we're going to embed all fonts. Or we could embed just the non-standard font. Or we could use the list below and scroll through and select the fonts that we want to embed. We're going to embed all the fonts. And we're going to save as and what are we going to call this template? We're going to call this Fonts Embed. And yes, we're going to say OK. Notice our default settings here will include the fonts to be embedded. We could still use the drop down and go back to Standard, but we're going to say OK. Now when we go to print this, and let's just pull this up a little bit, I am going to change the file name with fonts. And there he or here is our file. Let's go back to the file and the properties, and in the middle frame, the fonts, and everything is embedded. Now it has assigned a unique ID to each of these fonts so that it renders, but if we were to edit this, the font should be available for us. And that makes this document far more accessible. If you've liked this video, please click that little like button down below, and please subscribe.